What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Rob. Danny. I'm Steve. <laughs> and welcome to the Last Days of War cast. You guys, first on the agenda. I say I, I, I stumbled. Say Players fuck up too. Cheers. Cheers. Chats. Chats. I don't like it. And yes, that Steve was on purpose. Mm. I was watching the episode and he's got it down to where he's just mouthing and mimicking the names. Okay, I'm going to fucking throw a curveball in there. I'm, gonna, mm. I'm Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he got you. He got you. Gentlemen. What's second on the agenda? It's fucking Christmas, bro. If you cool. celebrated, Merry Christmas. If not, Happy Holidays, whatever. You whatever. Know. Whatever you and do, fucking do it. I like Danny's sweater the best. The <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing it on yeah. my head. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah. if, if you don't watch this podcast, you probably should for at least this episode just to see what the fuck we're wearing. God. You know? <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube. Things we do. Yeah. The things we do. Man. The things we do, man. Yeah. So I figured since, you know, it's the end of the year, while not, you know, it's Christmas, let's talk some more Christmas stuff real quick. Oh, righty. Uh, we can go however you want to go. Let's do worst Christmas gifts we've ever received first. Oh. Josh. Damn. So you, you say I always send it to you. So then you see what I did there? Mm. There you go. What you got, Josh? I'd what? have to go with probably socks and underwear. Yeah, bro. Which I, I need. <laughs> so it's kind of like it's not really a worst gift, but I can't think of anything else. Like I've always been fortunate, so just probably underwear. Nice. What about you, Danny? I'm going to say I'm going to go with uh, the same because there was nothing worse being a kid when you opened up socks and underwear. Everything clothing article was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know? You got from the video games, you know? So it's it's pretty much the same, but I think mine was just a little bit worse because my aunt, my, sorry, I forgot her name right now. My aunt, I think I remember her name, my, my aunt Lucy, there we go. It's been many years since she's passed. That's why I forgot her name, sorry. When I was young, Never she would you. always mail our, our gifts to us and it was always like socks, but they were like knitted socks. So like you couldn't really wear them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so it was just like, cool fuck is this it <laughs> sucks and uh if you wore those you were only gonna wear them once and they were gonna disintegrate you know what i mean <laughs> rob what's your worst christmas gift uh one year my stepdaughter got my wife and i a southwest gift card for 50 bucks for 50 bucks yeah where'd you guys go you can't go anywhere <laughs> on southwest for 50 bucks in all honesty the only thing it is known for is for the drink cart Okay. So if you do go somewhere, hey, you got a gift card that'll cover that. It's a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts, bro. <laughs> Here you go for your next flight. I thought it was going to be like, flying she somewhere? She gave us like, soup. <laughs> <laughs> 25 Worst years later, Rob's gift. like, I got drinks. Whole got family drinks. made a <laughs> fucking soup for Christmas. I said, God damn it, I ain't eating. I feel like 50 bucks for drinks for you is a drop in the bucket, though, right? Like, On a plane? Yeah. <laughs> Just, well, yeah. Though for me, it's not so much on the plane; it's before the plane. Yeah. Like if, oh, uh, we, we got here way too fucking early. I I expected way more traffic or TSA to fuck with us a lot more than they did. But you know, cool. Yeah, but no, well, no, I don't. <laughs> I was more like, hey, what's in your bag? Oh, uh, she packed it. <laughs> Just, <laughs> no, but. Uh, but when you get to an airport and it's just like, oh, your plane's not leaving for another, oh, they just pushed it back an hour. Oh, all right, well, we can do. where's yeah. the nearest bar? And yeah, then, yeah, you, yeah. I normally have a couple drinks before a flight just because I don't like flying. So it's, it's you would you would do horrible as Santa's little helper, bro. I'm just saying that's that's a lot of help. <laughs> A lot of houses, really quick speeds, and just a sled. We don't even know if it has seat belts or if it's up to code yet, right? So let's flip it. The best Christmas gifts you've ever received. You can go one or two. How many get? What if you want to name a couple? That's fine. How about go for it, Rob? What are some of the? You want some of your best Christmas gifts you remember receiving? Uh, one year I received a Hot Links guitar. I don't know if you remember this. 
Is that a real thing? Yeah. Back in the 90s, there was this thing called Hot Links, and it was a guitar, and essentially you pushed down it on a button and it played a song. Okay. You pushed down on another button and it played another song. It wasn't even a real fucking guitar, but it was like, hey, for the price of a real guitar, you can get this fucking toy guitar. And it was like, cool. I got a Hot Links. I'm gonna need an age for this. What, what, how old were you when you got this? He's like this two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was in Goodwill. Uh, so you said Hotlings guitar, and I was just like, they gave you like a fucking guitar made out of hot dogs. Like, I was saying this dude's brain is going <laughs> sausages. No, like links, like the cat. Uh, like a Lynx. Yeah, oh, Lynx. okay. Yeah, it was like hot links. That makes more sense. Um, but it, it was no, it was stupid. It had like a whammy bar. What songs did it have? No, it had You're, no fucking... It you was, said it played songs. Yeah, it like, was just like general song. MIDI songs that were programmed into yeah, the Yeah, so what guitar. songs? Was it like Christmas no, songs? No, no, no. It was all original like... And, you just jammed it, huh? And then you had the whammy bar that you can <laughs> pitch bend it. So you're just sitting there pitch bending every fucking... And you're like, this is fucking pointless. So this was and this the is the best? best gift? For As a kid, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Like, you sound pretty, pretty bummed out about it right now. <laughs> well, but you're just, this is like, mainly known for its whammy bar action. This shitty ass know. guitar was the best, dude. <laughs> you know how we thought quicksand was going to be more of an issue than it was because of cartoons? I really did think it was going to be a big issue. That's kind of like how the whammy bar has been <laughs> for the guitar. Like, it's I, not an issue at all. It, I mean, you know, Tom Morello can play the hell out of it. I'll give him that. Other than that, mm, you know... Blues. Yeah, but he does it with his feet. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> he does a lot of shit. But, but I'm just saying, like, I thought the whammy bar was going to be a lot more intricate and used in modern music than it is today. And it's just, mm. Yeah. I'm more of a fixed bridge kind of dude. For sure. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think uh, we're going to go with... Uh... Your Nintendo story again? Do you want to <laughs> tell that? I did tell my Nintendo story the last time, but one of my favorite Christmas gifts that I received um, was... It's probably... Fuck, dude. I'm trying to think now. I just drew a blank because you, you said that. Uh, probably when I got, like, my PlayStation 2, I got that for a gift, and I was like, oh, this is fucking rad. It wasn't that sweater? It wasn't this sweater. Oh, Actually, this, oh. isn't, this isn't even my sweater. I stole it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we do not promote or encourage stealing of any kind of any establishment. That's right. Uh, only yard sales. That's right. Uh, it's probably when I got a PlayStation 2, which wasn't, you know, it was, what? Fuck, dude. It's probably been like 20 years now since the fucking PlayStation 2 right. came out. Yeah. But uh, it's one of my favorite consoles ever. And uh, yeah, Let's go with 20. How long has it been? No, it's yeah. about right because my daughter's 24, and that came out right around the time she was born. So I'd say about 20, 23 yeah, years. Yeah, it's. I think the, it came out way longer than you think. The so PS2, bro. yeah. Trust me, the P, the PS2. It's got to be like that long. Mm -mm. No, We're I want to say. I want to say 2000, 2001. October 26, 2000. Yeah, 2000, bro. My daughter was born What'd in 2000. You say? 2004. What year are we in? We're in 2024. 2023. That was 20 years ago, bro. Some no, it was 2000. It was three years plus. <laughs> we ain't ballparking rounding this shit up, yeah, bro. We no, want the fuck date. No, I want exact time. I was working right. at Blockbuster at the time and it dropped, and that fucking shit sucked rent now. You worked at Blockbuster? Oh, yeah. What was that like? I remember this story. Yeah, Where were you? Which Blockbuster did you work at? Uh, the one in uh, Pleasantville can... on the Grand and Foothill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he had a discussion about how what they could put on for movies to watch. That's yeah. right, bro. I was there. Yeah. I worked. Fuck I worked at Blockbuster for like a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was like eighteen. Um, I was at the one like in Azusa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had to cover for them for Christmas parties, and then for San Dimas, that one that was over by Burger King. Yeah, I don't know how true this is, but I heard they were bringing it back. The block, block well, the is, isn't somebody still own one? Yeah, there's like there, one. There's one location, right. and then I heard somewhere somebody talking about the possibility of them bringing up some kind of like streaming service type thing. I think that's the what name. Yeah, but yeah, ah, dude, just too many streaming services, bro. Yeah, it's so way like, too many, yeah. dude. It's always like, oh, that's a cool show. That's what does that come out? We don't on? really need another one of those, do we? Yeah. Like, come on. 
I really have. I'm already subscribed to like eight of them. Yeah, fuck. Each one just for one show that yeah. I watch off of it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. Skip What's your favorite box, Christmas man. gift, Danny? Um, I think we talked about this at one point. It was my uh, Voltron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, another one that I liked is my dad. I was pretty young. He bought you got it. your dad for Christmas? Yeah. No, my dad. <laughs> my dad gave me for Christmas oh. a uh, an RC car, and it was uh, the old like Bigfoot monster truck, and you had to like put the whole thing together yourself. And it was it was cool. My dad, we got it up and going. He used it for about two minutes. My uncle said, "Hey, give it a shot." And he, yeah, sure. And he. About 30 seconds in, he cracked it into a curb and it didn't work anymore. <laughs> and so he spent like another two weeks, like, you know, like putting it back together. So it was, it was good fun. Yeah. It was fun that for sucks. a couple minutes. And then and then we spent a lot of time. I had one of it. those on Christmas too. Did you? Well, yeah, the RC car incident and the uncle goes to borrow mm-hmm. it. And yep. Cracks it into something. Oh, great. That yeah. wheel doesn't need to be attached. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it, it was an RC car. It was, it was cool. Like it was like a legit, like nice RC car, but you had to put the whole thing together. And if you got out of antenna range, it would just go. So anytime it got out of antenna range, it was like, oh, there we go. We're fixing it again. So this could go under my worst ones really quick because you, you're talking about RC cars. I always wanted a really dope RC car for Christmas. Yeah. And I remember expressing to my mom that I wanted one. And then like she, I get this gift and it's like this little remote control truck that was like attached by the cable with the little fucking thing that just moves back and forth like yeah. right there. Bro, no, I, I acted. I acted. About. I acted like it was the greatest gift ever because I didn't want to hurt my mom's feelings, dude. She was just doing what she could, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I was does just like, she listen to the podcast? I hope not, mom. I hope she does. If you do, <laughs> gift sucked. that fucking gift sucked. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Unappreciative. <laughs> you created this. That's me. No, that. But like, I just remember like, fuck, dude. What the fuck is this? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Josh, what you got? Best gift as a kid was probably my first drum set. Nice. How old were you? Seven. Hell yeah. Nice. That's what's up. That's a cool gift for a seven-year-old kid, you know? That is a pretty cool gift That's for a seven-year-old cool kid. Yeah. My dad, my dad uh, would not let me have a drum set. Like, it was the one thing at any time when I was a kid. Like, I remember this one time, me and this guy knew we were, we were uh, jamming in the garage. My dad comes home, and the door flies open. And he literally says, and my buddy was always died about it, it was Jason. He'd always die about it because my dad opened the door and he literally said, the door swings up. He goes, I think not. <laughs> That's all I fucking said, dude. And it was just like, okay, we're done. <laughs> no. Yeah. It just closes the door. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Damn. But the, but the guitar is real okay? Yeah, he caved on getting a guitar. Yeah. Well, That's I guess it. you can control the volume of the amp. There. No, no. Because he's been into this before that he was fucking with his guitar so yeah. much. It's like, oh, I'm going to get it. Yeah, me that's one. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I banged up a pretty nice guitar. I think I sometimes we talk about shit I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't you remember it? I don't know, man. It has a lot to do with Josh. <laughs> it's always my fault. You keep blaming Josh for all this. No, I don't forget shit. <laughs> it's true, he doesn't. Josh, how many times have you brought a firearm to uh, the podcast and held it against Mark's head? <laughs> And held him against his will. Every time. Every yeah. fucking you time. Uh, but the safety's on. So we're good there. We're good there. It's all it's all gun good. safety, folks. Don't forget it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Alec Baldwin, pay attention. <laughs> oh boy. Spay new to your pets. What? We went Spay new to your pets? Is that what you said? Yeah. Spay new to your pets with a That's gun. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not with a gun. Oh, no. Just leave it up to the professionals no. to take care of that. So any more any with more guns. worst or best gift stories you guys got before we move on? Anything you want to throw in there? Not good? that I can think not of. That you can think of? No? You good? You good? Bro? No, I'm good, yeah. All right. So uh, I believe it was last week. We talked a little bit about favorite Christmas movies, but... Uh, that was two weeks ago. Whenever it was, bro. It was ago. Uh, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. last week. Let's talk about your go-to Christmas movie on Christmas Day. You want to talk about that a little bit? I got yeah. it. I know what I watch on Christmas Day. What you got, Danny? NFL. I stare at Rob the whole time. <laughs> NFL. Oh, yeah. I just watch football. Every, they, they do like, I think it's like three games, so you just watch football the whole day. Yeah. And then you just drink and eat and, and hey, let's go open presents. Dude, one of these them. days, football is going to take off, bro. Trust me. Someday. I hear, I hear it's doing some good things. I hear it's, some good things, bro. It's got quite a bit of a following, I guess. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. That's Talking cool. about soccer? <laughs> no? 
No. no. Uh, American football. American football. That's what we're talking about. NFL. Football yeah. Americano. Yes. It's America, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's America. Uh, I thought we were the internet. Sorry, I thought. Uh, for me, it's Elf. That's the go-to Christmas movie on Christmas Day. We always watch Elf. Um, honestly, we watch it like throughout November, December, but on Christmas Day, we will throw on Elf as well. Yeah. That's the first one we're watching. We'll probably throw on a couple more after that. The Santa Claus. Yeah, you know. You know. Yeah. What about you? Oh, if I get control of the TV, I throw on Batman Returns. Good one. That's a good Christmas movie, dude. Thank you. It, it, I 100% thank you. agree. It's a good Christmas movie. Oh, thank you. I'll be here all night. I'm adding that to the list this year. Oh, next year. Oh. <laughs> next year. Next, next year. year. Next year. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> what are you, Josh? <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but the Jim Carrey one. Yes, oh, that was great. My kids like that one. There's a a scene where he pulls, he yeah, pulls okay. the he pulls the fucking yeah he pulls the what is it the fucking tablecloth mm-hmm. and everything stays there. He walks away, he comes and he back and he moves everything. It all up. Apparently, that just happened. Like he it, it happened. Like he was supposed to knock it all down, and it came out. By itself, so he just added. So he ad lived walking yeah. back and just knocking it all down. I love that. I love that's that. Funny. Yeah, that's a great movie. It's a great movie. It's one of my favorite like things to drive through in the Universal Backlot Tour. You get to go through like the Grinch stuff there. It's been a while. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you this. Uh, that's kind of where Jim Carrey lost me. Really? Yeah. Was it the Green? No, <laughs> it was just that it was. Like too political, too family political friendly. Enough. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was like I'm I'm expecting Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, Mask type. Jim so he's Carey. mad because the Grinch didn't talk out of his ass. <laughs> I mean, is that it? Is kind of like it? what I was expecting. Some, like I wanna, yeah, you, you it was bring, a kids movie, bro. Yeah, so were all the rest of them. I saw him as a kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> just because you saw him as a kid. I'm just saying, you can't go from Ace Ventura and you're just like, this guy's fucking hilarious. And then you put on the Grinch and like, that's not the same guy. That can't be. It's like Adam Sandler and what he's doing now as opposed to how he started. You're just like, that's not the same fucking guy. I feel you there. Like, don't get me wrong. Jim Carrey is... The best. The is, goat like humbled out and like but there was a period where it's just like what the fuck are you doing bro like favorite Jim Carrey movie The Grinch no <laughs> I, I'd probably have to go with Dumb and Dumber the combination of Jim Carrey and the Fairley Brothers yeah I, a- I mean I yes for me it's it would have to be Dumb and Dumber but a close second Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I fucking love that movie. It's so good. No, no. The second one is still Pet Detective. Pet Detective. You got a favorite Jim Carrey movie? I've got to go with Pet Detective. Yeah. 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 Josh? Mine's not even funny. Which one is it? The number 23. God damn it. Really? Yeah, it's a good one too. Really? Uh, Like he's just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? As much as he... I guess it's because it's so different from what he normally does. That's why yeah, I like right. it. That's the reason why I love Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It was just such a, a great role. I and mean, then even like the, but did Tru- you the guys, Truman Show. But did you guys awesome. grow up with In Living Color? Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. And you guys watched that? Yeah. yeah this Fire Marshal Bill? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> Vera de Milo? <laughs> you remember Vera de Milo? Yeah, dude. Just, and seeing that guy, and then you're just like, oh, yeah, no, let's take him serious. Yeah, dude. Dude, Robin Williams did some great se- serious roles. That fucking, what was that? Yeah, f- but he always grew a beard for it. Uh, is that true? For all of them? Where he was serious? So serious Robin Williams was just bearded Robin Williams? It was just bearded Robin Williams. And then, I mean, he had some comedy ones with a beard, like Jumanji. One hour so photo, so. no beard. Well, yeah. yeah. Fucking get out of here with that yep. bullshit, dude. But that was more. That was more the horror I win, movie. Dude. That's that was the episode, horror guys. movie, and that was because <laughs> he had blonde hair. He shaves. No, he has blonde hair. That's true. Uh, Patch Adams. Um, no beard. That was a insomnia. Insomnia. No beard, bro. Where have you seen him with a beard? <laughs> I'm 
that's a that's, a, that's a better question. Never seen that movie. <laughs> I've never seen wow. that. Wow. Really? really? I don't think I've ever seen it. That's with Matt Damon and uh, fucking Jumanji. He starts uh, out with a beard. Fucking Dead Poet Society. No beard, bro. Uh, well, that was young Robin Williams. He's just so he, he couldn't grow one yet. Well, he was still he was coming like 32. out. Thirty-two. He was like me. Good morning, what? Vietnam. Like, oh, still going with the baby face look, you know. Yeah. But I guarantee you. Mrs. Doubtfire, no beard. Well, <laughs> that would have been a little unsuccessful. That was. <laughs> that would have looked like any, <laughs> any other no, fucking no beard, no beard, bro. sketch on. Not like, that that was a serious movie at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire? Dude, Mrs. Doubtfire is great. You thought that was a serious movie? Guy no, I'm just I'm saying it wasn't. Oh, like, we were talking about serious movies. Um, fucking somebody take the fucking the oh. fucking steering from me, please. <laughs> uh, do we get done with favorite movies? Did, um, did everybody get get one in? I don't think I did. Uh, Go for it. When I was growing up, it was always uh, National Lampoon's. Okay, Christmas Vacation was one that we always did in my family growing up. And now, I feel like, uh, man, this year it's been Home Alone. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. a good one too. Showed it to Luke, and and I had to take him out to the garage and show him our furnace because he was all. What's the, the furnace? furnace? He thought the furnace was gonna. Yeah, yeah. He, I had to, he had to know that we didn't have that furnace in our garage. Oh. He's like, hey, man. Looking at the- <laughs> I, t- I had to literally take him out of the garage and show him. It was great. Bro, I, I would be scared to show Luke that movie and then try to walk upstairs and not get a paint bucket thrown at you or some shit. <laughs> Sometimes some of the stuff he watches, I'm just like, oh, God, he's going to do this. Right. <laughs> what about you, Josh? For what? Oh, did, we do a he, did we do a favor? Did you do yeah, a favor? Yeah, I think we're yeah, moving on to... Uh, I guess we're going to do a hot take. Oh, this is a good Christmas hot take. Go ahead, Rob. I think we're kind of all on the same page of this. But the hot take is that fruitcake is, is delicious. nasty. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, no, it is not delicious at all. Why is it called fruitcake? Yeah. There's no cake in it. And why is it always hard as a rock? <laughs> There's no well, cake in it. It's shaped like a cake and it's scent like a cake, but it tastes like a fucking tire. Just go with fruit mold. I don't know why somebody did that. Yeah, yeah. It's just I'm not a nice. fan of it's gross. Yeah, bro. but like, remember candies back in the day, like when your grandparents had the jellies. You have a jelly, and you're like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't even know what this is. Is this somebody's ear? What am I chewing? When on? I went to my grandma's as a kid, man, it was Wonder Bread with butter and and water. And water. She, is it a prison she sentence? That's what I'm saying. Oh, wow. yeah, that's what she gave us as a snack all the time when we were little kids, staying with her. Sugar right. sandwiches? Ooh, no sugar, just butter. Just, just butter. Some Wonder Bread, some butter, some water. Was it toasted? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was okay. Say, just, just, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, it was just cold. Oh, oh, sorry. Cold it butter and yeah. torn up Wonder Bread. Have a butter sandwich. <laughs> You're trying to butter kids like butter tarts, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. No man, yeah, fruit cake is fucking gross, dude. I don't know why it's a thing. It's more. I'd of a rather paperweight. I'd rather uh, have the Wonder Bread than the fruit cake. Yeah, God, yeah, butter's delicious, <laughs> but fucking fruit cake. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not butt fucking a fruit cake, no, dude. No, well, I mean that's probably the only thing you can. <laughs> it's do. probably not the only thing I would do with it. <laughs> <laughs> try to find the bee hole on the fruit cake. <laughs> that's, that's about all I would try to do with that. I wouldn't try to eat it. Holy shit. So, I guess if you want to call that a Christmas dish, it's a Christmas dish. But, I mean, we can talk a little bit more about our, our go-to Christmas dishes. Like, what are you guys, what are you guys eating on Christmas Day? Oh, it's cheeks. Really. Guaranteed deviled <laughs> eggs. Uh, we usually do, like, a big breakfast in the morning. Um, yeah. Big when, when do you celebrate Christmas? Are you a Christmas Eve person? Are you a Christmas morning person? April twenty sixth. Uh, we always, I always did. Uh, <laughs> growing up, I always just when we have money again. Christmas Day. Yeah, but now uh, Jessica's family usually does a lot of Christmas Eve stuff. So then um, that, and then my family. I don't have much of a family, so I just hang out with my wife and kids. Yeah, and yeah. we just hang out here. Bro, that got fucking sad quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. Like, you heard well, that? I mean, <laughs> I get what you're saying, who though. Who doesn't have a sad Christmas? I'm a bunch right? of a family. If you're yeah. not sad, is it Christmas? You know what I mean? Like, I, can, like, <laughs> I could go a lot sadder on Christmas, I'll tell you right now. I feel that, dude. Yeah. Um, growing up Hispanic, it's always been Christmas Eve. When I was a kid, it was you had to go to midnight mass 
and then we would come home and open gifts. Yeah. I fucking hated that shit so much, dude. I'm so glad that like my parents realized. I fucking hate opening going gifts. To, like I'm, I'm so, I'm, no, I'm so glad that they realized that like going to church on Christmas oh, and Easter man, isn't gonna save us. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> that's the only like two the times here we go. Gifts, that's the worst part. Just you gotta open these. Uh, <laughs> it's a case of bees. Uh, oh shit! What about you? Were you, were you uh, uh, Christmas? Are you Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Celebrating? We we used to do like my mom's family on Christmas Eve, my dad's family on Christmas Day. Yeah. And so, growing older, it's just like you guys get one fucking day, and that's all we're doing. That's all we can afford. Like, <laughs> that's pretty much. What do you guys do for uh, your uh, food and all that? Food, it's usually like breakfast. We'll do like a good breakfast, like a quiche or, you know, like rolls, cinnamon rolls and stuff. But just keep it basic, quick, you know, yeah. something you can pop in, pop out. Yeah. A little fruit cake. <laughs> oh, God, no, no. A little fruitcake. <laughs> a little fruitcake for everybody. Pop it in a fruitcake. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Food-wise, it's always been fucking menudo and tamales in the morning. Yeah. Fucking, oh, that's, that's my racist. Grandpa. And my, dude, my grandpa, I mean, he used to fucking put it down until he passed. Kind of stopped after that, you know? <laughs> now we don't do tamales. <laughs> but it was always, grandpa. it was, dude, no, to me, it's not Christmas until, you know, I crack open a tamale, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Fucking love we've tamales. Done, we've done tamales a few times. Yeah. It's good. What about you, Josh? I'm in the same boat as Rob where both my parents are remarried. So Christmas Eve, we go to Manhattan Beach and go see my dad. And then Christmas Day is spent with my mom and my family. Um, with my son's food allergies, we're kind of limited to what we can have. So the usual Christmas Eve dinner with my dad is normally like some shrimp type meal because my son can have shellfish, okay. but he can't have like regular, if we have salmon, he's allergic to salmon or tilapia, like freshwater fish or anything, can't have. So we have to be careful. So like a shrimp dish and some, my kids like sweet potatoes. Yeah. And then fucking two boxes of the Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> so they just go through that. Dude, Hawaiian rolls are so fucking good, dude. Yeah. With some butter on it, bro. Some butter and water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy man. shit! Yeah, man. Uh, we want to take an early break. We want to take a break. We wanna, sure. Oh, let's do, or we want to do a quick hot take. Let's do a quick we hot got take. few minutes. Hot take no, you want to take an early break? Yeah. All right, we're gonna the, let's take a break then. We'll be right back. Be right back. I have to shit. <laughs> Rob's got to go doo-doo. <laughs> Leave that in. Leave that in. <laughs> that coffee was quick. What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, have the TikTok and the Instagram and the... the uh, Facebook and threads. Yeah. Those are all The Last Days of War. And X is The Last Days of War because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're back. <laughs> Josh has an ugly Christmas sweater, by the way. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> Not an ugly Christmas sweater. Ugly, 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 ugly person sweater. sweater. <laughs> yeah, we were on the topic of Christmas sweaters, and I forgot my ugly person sweater, so I had to borrow one from you. But yeah, that's what I call a Christmas sweater, my ugly person sweater. <laughs> we'll drink to that. Shots, yeah. boys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, boy. Oh, so good. Oh, thank God for the limes. So I had a little bit of an idea during the break, and I thought it would be cool to see if we could name all of Santa's reindeer. We've already written them down to avoid <coughs> dead air while we were doing that. Um, well, thank you. So how are we going to do this? We're going to, we're going to, Jess, are you going to write them down one at a time up there? And we'll see what we got. We are starting off with Vixen, and Wait, I do not have Vixen on my list. I don't either. I do. I spelled it wrong. I, I asked the spelling count. You said It does no. not count. So nobody <laughs> needed to know that. Okay. <laughs> I, I got no Vixen. So no Vixen. I got Dasher. Got that? Uh, I put a check mark on that one. Damn it. Dancer. Yep, I got that one. Got that one. Hmm. Prancer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That fucking asshole. Comet. Ooh, okay. One. Cupid. So yep. Mm-hmm. Donner. Nope. No Donner. <laughs> Blitzen. 
There's no O in that, right? <laughs> and Rudolph being the last uh, one. So the two that I missed. What did you get instead? That's the other, what we yeah, the other up. two that I put down. I think that's what we got to announce other, is what other reindeer did we get? So the other two that are not on the list that I wrote down are Donald and Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> mittens. <laughs> well, I got Comet, Rudolph, Donner, Blitz and Wright, and then I got Grumpy, Bashful, Buddy, Timmy, and Fruitcake. <laughs> Fruitcake. <laughs> Fruitcake. Nice. Huh. You know. What you got, Josh? Uh, the only one I missed was Prancer. Oh, nice. Otherwise, I got all of them, and I don't know how I missed that because of Dancer. So did you not but put anything you, down, or did you some, put something down? I didn't put down? anything down, uh, no. Mm. I had eight instead of nine. Uh, That's why I was, what the hell is that ninth one? It's I Prancer. I sworn there was a Donald, the dude. No. I could have sworn. <laughs> and a Mittens. What you got? Did you get them all? No, I missed one, and one of them wasn't Stizzy. Stizzy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... Good. good Christmas yeah. gift. Yeah, yeah. I know. I dude, I was singing, yeah, sure. Fucking that dude. I was singing the song in my head over and over, and I'm like, that's not the words, bro. That's not the, that's not the names at all. But we both missed. Yeah, one. man. So Donald Mittens coming so, soon. So who won? Who? We both missed we, one. We missed one. I missed two. I missed Prancer. I missed and one. he missed Dad. <laughs> you, you missed quite I, a bit. I got four. So then you two tied. If you guys both missed one, hmm. nice. You got an F. For D. D. These D. nuts. <laughs> I got I got four out of the uh, possible nine. Possible nine. It's like an F. It's a good solid F. It's a good oh, solid yeah. F, bro. It's good F I don't F. know. They grade on a curve these days, so it all depends on everybody else. Can too. you name all the elves? Elves. Does he have actual elves that are like with names? What? What else? What do you think he calls them? Like the Keebler elf. You you think the Keebler elves are running double duty, making cookies and toys, bro? I mean, you got to put them to work, right? Do you? <laughs> Are there really Do names you? to elves? Name three. Buddy. That's Buddy the Elf from Elf. Okay. You can help. walked into that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just I, singing. I already know where he's going with this. There's six original Six original elves? What? That's a real thing? Okay, we're going to, let's, 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 let's try, let's write down six uh, names really quick. I gave for up. For elf, yeah. elf names. I'm definitely putting Buddy down. I don't have a pen. Um, I have one of these pins. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I left my pin somewhere. I gave my pin to the judge. Could I just... Uh, oh, gosh. Whoa. I don't need a pin. I will borrow so, one when someone is done. Six. There's uh, six. There's almost six. Made it right there's the six of these guys. Okay. Six um, names. You guys are not going to guess these. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I guarantee you they're not all white. <laughs> <laughs> just... Uh, Huh. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll go with. There you go. <laughs> okay, let me see. What you got over there? While you guys are writing yours down, my six guesses for elves, because uh, producer Jess over here is saying that there's actually six of them. Oh, fuck. I wrote seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my six, right off the top, I put Buddy, Ralph, Eddie, Frank, Paco, and Jason. Did any of those hit? <laughs> okay, I got Steve, Jeff, Buddy, Tom, Adam, Tanner, and Juan. I like that. Juan, we need a Hispanic one. That's true. He's the one doing double the work. They're still right. They're still writing over here. Uh, You're left-handed, bro. Yeah, that explains, that explains a lot. Yeah, well, okay, keep it up. There. <laughs> How many? Five? There's six. Damn it. I did seven. Start yeah, start typing them out. Go ahead. They're not, they're not looking. What, what the, the I got, fuck is that? I got, uh, let's see. Oh, they have last names too? <laughs> oh, I only I got, I got Kipper, Tommy, Larry, Harry, Barry, and Sally. I did Fluffy, Skippy, Lumpy, Dumpy, Steve, and Dimples. <laughs> Dumpy? <laughs> Dumpy. <laughs> so the first one is apparently... Uh. What? Alabaster snowball. Wait, wait, wait what? what? You, she said we weren't gonna guess them. That's a what? Hey. Isn't that the game you play? One or oh, I see what they did there. That's a fucking play on words on that one. That last one. Okay, bushy evergreen. What? Is the second one? That's not an elf. Uh, pepper mint sticks. 
Uh, yeah, I see. Sh- shim- <laughs> shinny up a tree? <laughs> Is it supposed to be shimmy? Okay, shinny. shinny, shinny up a tree. Have you ever met Sugar Plum Mary? Sugar Plum Mary, she's dope, dude. She's pretty cool. She got some plums what on your dog. What is this? <laughs> one horse soap and sleigh. One horse. Oh. One horse. Uh, yeah, one horse soap and sleigh. Oh, Those are some dumbass names, dude. Yeah. Santa, you fucking suck. Maybe I like were Harry, one. Barry, and Larry better. Dude, if if he had some elves, Harry, Barry, I feel like Harry, Barry, and Larry like go what to the are, bar like the, after. the Pep yeah. Boys. Yeah. The pet boys? Was that Larry Moe? Larry Moe and Curly? Curly? No, that's... No, that was like <laughs> I don't know what the... Uh, Manny Moe and Jack. Manny oh, Moe and Jack? Okay. Yeah, that was the pet boys. All right. Still are the pet boys, dude. They, they, never, they never left, dude. They're still hot. Yeah. So... And then there's the band, the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> this is completely different. Let's do a quick hot take, gentlemen. Who would win in a fight? Jesus versus Santa. Rob, go. And we know the whole South Park story. Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman wins. Okay, so it's I say... the only one that's real. So let's go Jesus and his disciples versus like Santa and 12 elves, bro. Whoa, what you got? Wait a minute. <laughs> now there's an army. Are any of them black? The disciples? No. Any of, the, <laughs> any of your fictional characters. I mean, are any of them black? Um, sure. Okay, which ones? We'll go... All black elves, bro. All black elves and a white Santa? Yes. Like some slavery shit? No, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow, You're not okay. going to talk your way out of this. Uh, Don't cancel this. There we go. <laughs> are, you, are you saying this is like a bad Santa situation? It's like they like, fucking, like Santa's rolling up to someone's house and Jesus is there trying to give gifts. And he's like, yo, this is my fucking turf, my turf, bro. Yo. What are you doing? And they throw down. Kind of like with like FedEx and UPS rolled up at the same time. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Who do I think would win? Who would win, dude? Santa's got like his fucking gift bag he could pull anything out of. Are the elves like little people? I mean, that's what elves are, right? I mean, you're a pretty giant elf today, but... Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, are they little people or are so they So there's elves? one giant elf. Like a giant giant? <laughs> a giant elf being... Like, Five ten. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Jesus. Jesus got it. All right. I mean, he's got that Harry Potter shit going on, right? It's true. He's turning water into wine, and getting them all drunk. Uh, oh. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, if they have a fight on water, Jesus wins because he's walking on that bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he's just fucking drowning them all. Mm. What you got? <laughs> well, and normally I would go with Santa here, but I know that Jesus knows jujitsu. So how do you know this? <laughs> how do you know this? It's, it's but you can't the, just say that and not explain it. It's in the Bible. He, does he really know jujitsu? Yeah, it's in the Bible. Is he black belt? What does it say? It says, it says I, Jesus, know jujitsu. Twice. Over. He's done it twice. Book so I'm going with Jesus would win. Book of Revelations, guys. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Josh? What is he, Jesus St. Pierre? <laughs> hey, he calls himself whatever he wants. Okay. Bro, imagine Jesus just fucking Superman punching the shit out of Santa, dude. Jesus St. Pierre. He'd tie him up and choke him out, dude. Choke him out, dude. Choke out Santa. That's what I go with. Yeah. I'm saying Santa's going to let Jesus win because it's his birthday. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so oh. Santa's got a soft spot. I like that. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that killed about 30 seconds. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, well, I'm uh, canceled. Bro, yeah, let's, let's not get canceled on that one. Speaking of getting canceled, let's talk about some musicians this week uh, that had little uh, incidences, I guess you could say. Let's go. Uh, well, you guys, uh, do you want to start with the one that you, we were talking about earlier? Yes. The first one on this that we have no clue about? One more time. First one on the list that we have no clue. Oh, about. Luke Combs. Luke Combs. Who is this? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Do you know who this is? Yes, he is a country singer. A what? A country singer. That's my favorite tree, by the way. <laughs> Go on. He, uh, there was a whole incident on TikTok. This uh, lady had just had some sort of, what kind of surgery was it, Danny? I had heard it was like some kind of heart procedure, maybe. Yeah. I haven't rem- Totally remember, but so she's basically incapable of working right now, and she was trying to raise some money to uh, 
pay for her medical bills and stuff like that. And she started making tumblers with like Luke Combs stickers on them. She she sold about three hundred dollars worth of it, right? I remember something like that. Yeah, yeah. something. Not very it wasn't much money. it wasn't a lot of money at all. Apparently, the state that she lives in, I don't recall what state, uh, allows for these trials to happen and you don't even need to be a part of it. And she just received something in the mail that was like, hey, there was a trial. You weren't there. You lost. You owe Luke Combs $250,000 for making tumblers. Can we start suing people for that kind of money? (laughs) Make a tumbler, I dare you. (laughs) We're going to sue you for making Luke Combs tumblers. (laughs) <laughs> not even ours. You Combs should be Combs. making ours. She, uh, uh, so this was on TikTok for a few days and everybody was like all in uproar about it and like, oh, fuck Luke Combs and this and that. And he didn't even know. <laughs> this is taking up space on my TikTok. Right? No, what? He uh, didn't even know about it. And then a few days later, he was on TikTok and he's like, hey, so I don't know how this happened. Uh, I do have a company that's supposed to like flag things of people that are making like thousands probably trying to attempt to make millions of dollars off my name. That's what that is for. It's not to go flagging people on TikTok that are fucking making a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks here. Right. Um, but uh, when there they- that many people that listen to this country Dude, music? Luke Combs is a big okay. country artist, yeah. Right. Uh, he, uh, so apparently TikTok froze all of her assets and they're like, you can continue selling anything else you want, just not Luke Combs stuff. But until you pay off this $250,000, you're getting none of your money. And so she was just like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, Luke Combs apparently is a pretty good dude and was like, I've already talked to her personally. I've apologized for it all. I sent her X amount of dollars to help with like she was trying to pay rent that month or something. Right. And then he goes, and I'm going to make tumblers. And all these ten, anything that we make off these tumblers is going to go straight to her for her medical bills. And I think that that is fucking awesome. Yeah. What a great dude. You know what would have been awesome would have been dropping the lawsuit against her. But he kept that going. <laughs> but he's going to help her. Believe, believe, no, he did. He did make yeah. sure she gets I a believe, head start just well, like the rest of them. Well, see, like that the said. lawsuit already went through. There's no lawsuit to drop. Right. So, like, he's just clearing it all. Like, he's just like, okay, don't worry about that shit. Here you go. And he's trying to figure out how to get it so that she doesn't owe him any money and all this other bullshit. He's trying to figure out how to make that much money too, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm telling you, that guy's got no issue with making money. That guy's a pretty big fucking star, uh, country star. I just, I just thought it was cool that he, uh, he, you know, did that, and then also the the other side of that where he's going to sell the tumblers and give the proceeds. Yeah, over. that's really cool. <clears throat> that was really cool. I, was, I told my wife that story. But is it her designs up. or is it his designs? I don't know. I would think it'd, know. it'd be cool if she's if he sold tumblers with her on it. <laughs> Just like <laughs> Should I be looking to our producer to see if they're Oh yeah, no, okay. Never mind. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're they're her designs. Just... I have a question. What's that? What's a tumbler? A tumbler is just a, a a cup. It's a little small child. <laughs> I was thinking it was a damn Batmobile. Oh. That was the name for the Batmobile. Oh yeah, it was. As well. yeah. Oh, tumbler. It's tumbler. Just, yeah. like this dude selling re- his own Batmobiles. Tumblers are those those big those uh yeah like that. Yeah, what like the, the metal cups. The metal cups. Oh, yeah. That's called a tumbler. Okay. Okay, so you're so Starbucks stickers cup. stickers are tumblers. No, no the tumblers are the tumblers are the people the drinking out of the tumblers. <laughs> that metal looking Starbucks cup thing. That's, that's a, a tumbler. tumbler. Yes, correct. Okay, okay yeah. like a Yeti cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind yeah, of. Yeah. Like and then they, and then she slapped a bunch of stickers on it, and she was like. Oh, okay. This. So just there you go. She she got a tumbler. Oh, that that would be a, a tumbler. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! I got something like that. I didn't even know it's what it's called. I thought it was just a cup. Bro, you gonna get sued? Well, but the tumblers <laughs> for bartenders are something. Could have sued Josh. You get sued, bro. You better watch yeah, out. Those that's tumblers. crazy, dude. And then uh, another cool story. I'm all, I don't know if it's cool, but Paramore. You want to talk about Paramore? Go ahead and talk about Paramore. Well, what? I saw this video of Paramore, and uh, apparently. The pyro guy that was hired for the night was messing with the band while they were on stage. And so in the middle of their cover song, she switched up the lyrics to fire the guy over the microphone. That's awesome. Yeah. I think I saw that same video. That's why um, I want to fire everybody from now on, dude. Yeah. If, well, if it happens while you're on stage so, and they still so give you a live mic. He was messing with them or was it something that was going wrong? It or? was, I think it was something was going wrong. I think it was, he 
kept firing off pyro when she was in the line of fire. Yeah, that would get you fired right there. So, yeah, and, it, and it was like, I guess it was like the third or fourth time that it happened. And she was just like, hey, get like singing, singing along yeah. with a song. Like, guess, guess who's losing their job? I'm pretty You're sure she fucking doesn't done. fucking third degree burns. You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 Yeah, I'd fire <laughs> the fucker too. Yeah, dude. straight up, or the fucking done. Bro. There's a great video of Michael Jackson firing somebody where yeah. he was just like, you this, can't, that, that's, "That's one not, of those. That's one of those things. Yeah. Like, oh, somebody didn't order the right size, this size T-shirt. Oh, that sucks. Somebody almost killed somebody with pyro. You fucking fired. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when the pyro guy lit Undertaker on fire, mm-hmm. the Elimination Chamber? Mm-hmm. He was walking out, and the pyro was going. Apparently, he had told him a few times, "Hey, man, that pyro's getting too close to me." You guys need to fucking ease up on it. And the fire, the power guy was like, oh, no, that was just that venue that day. Don't worry about it. They had a pay-per-view, and he's walking down. He's got this long-ass, le- you know, the Undertaker. He's yeah, got this long-ass yeah, no, leather no, coat. Yeah. One of the pyro goes off on his left side. He turns to his right. As he turns to his right to avoid that one, the other one goes up in his face, literally melts his coat into his arm. Yeah. Like, he pulls it off right away, proceeds to wrestle for 30 minutes, was fucking like second and third degree burns on his ass, dude. Like his chest was all fucking peeling the entire match. That was his ass, though. It was good, dude. Okay. <laughs> he, he just said it, it burned his ass, it. but burned his, his ass, ass was cheeks, good. Dude. Okay. Yeah. Right. That happened good. to James Hetfield too. Did yeah. it really? Yeah. In the eighties, he got burned bad. They had to cancel mid tour, and there's a video of it where it, I don't know he if he was going to be doing a solo or whatnot, but the lights went out real quick, and there was supposed to be a flash, and it came up on his guitar and everything. And it got him in the face, over his arm, and he was afraid he wasn't going to be able to play guitar anymore. Oh, damn. Then they had Lars come out and apologize and say the show's over, but James is on his way to the hospital. And it was exactly what you're talking about, where they weren't paying attention. He walked over, started to do something, and then just poof, right in his face. I mean, oh, yeah. Have you heard of the band Great White? I have not. Oh, I didn't yeah. think we were going to go that morbid. Okay, yeah. sorry. We're going that far. Well, that's okay. a whole different pyro. Oh, that, no, no that, it's that, still the same pyro. Great well, White? Great White? During that, that band it sounds, that, that that fire at the club happened. A oh, bunch of they, died. Yeah. they burned yeah. the whole <laughs> building down. Well, that, so first off, that's not that wasn't really a venue that you you do pyro, do pyro at. In. They told them not to. But but yeah. hear me out though. No. Like I've oh. seen I've seen Rammstein play a place a venue like the Whiskey. Yeah. And you're just like, this is after after said incident, and you're just like, um, what are you doing? No, like no. But having seen them with you last year, I couldn't imagine that their show at the fucking whiskey, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fucking oh yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. scale yeah. down. Yeah. The, but this, uh, it was a venue like the whiskey, size of the whiskey, but it was up in Portland, Oregon, uh, where I saw them. But it was like, uh, no, absolutely yeah. not. Like, there's no way you could pull this kind of theatrics of fuego. <laughs> I've also uh, I've also seen a video with uh, Clown from Slipknot, and he he talks about a time where he was they were in show and he walked off stage and was like confused and was going to walk backstage when they were about to do pyro. I've seen and, this video. Yeah, yes, and yeah. it was like he was pretty much explaining like you go back there and that ha- you're dead. You're dead. You know? yeah. 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 So I have it's it's a it's a kind of crazy thing. I know a lot of bands have uh, moved away from doing pyro and they do a lot of like CO2, mm-hmm. you know, shots and things like that with lights and, you know. You seen that kid's video where homie's hair goes up in flames and he never stops singing oh, and the yeah. guy just comes behind him and puts his hair out mm-hmm. and just fucking he keeps going? Yeah, fuck that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't want to be on fire. How do you guys feel about Kiss? I'm not a Kiss fan at all, bro. It doesn't do much for me. There's a few songs that are like, yay, but... I just like Detroit Rock City, the movie. That's as far as I get into Kiss. Yeah. What about you? That's as far as we go. Uh, I mean, I, I like tat- That's a good time to show your Kiss tattoo, bro. No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a Kiss tattoo, but I don't, I don't mind anyone that gets up on stage and does their thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get that. Especially, I just, do especially for me, like actually playing instruments and each one of them having, you know, hit songs and everything. Like, good for them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they have a few songs I like, but then there's some stuff that just kind of falls off for me. Yeah. I, you know. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been Christmas caroling? Years and years and years ago. Yeah? Yeah. What was that like? 
It was like being dragged to church at night. <laughs> You're like, hey, here's what we're going to do. Oh, I really don't want to do that. Well, we're going to do it. All right. I think the thought of Christmas caroling is way cooler than doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you always you end get up, out there, you're kind of like... Eh, you, you always know. end up at somebody's house that opens the door and they're like, what the fuck is this? And I, yeah. I can't tell these kids no. Sing your fucking song. Let's go back to the house. Sorry, we're <laughs> sick. Go, go home. home. And you're like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm standing outside the whole time. I'm Dude just got his fucking you. beard in his hand like, shut the fuck up. You, know? <laughs> you ever been Christmas caroling, Danny? I don't recall. Should no, we go do it right now? Let's just no, go. Just, let's just go. Never been. What no. time is it at night? Like, it doesn't fucking matter. It. Let's just go to your neighbor's house Dude. and start singing. But like, let's not do Christmas songs. Like, let's just do normal songs. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's just like, you get the cops coming. You just start. Like, Wait, are you singing Mr. Brightside? Yeah, everyone, every white person. Can we just loves do songs. fucking like, Wu Tang oh. songs and acapella, bro. Let me oh. fucking do it. Triumph. Let, let's yeah. go, bro. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I I did it a few times when I was a kid. And like you were saying, it's just one of those things where it's just like, <coughs> okay, I guess. Um, but when you're doing it by yourself, it's not really Caroline. It's just psychopath, right? <laughs> Who's this dude just fucking singing? He's just out here singing, and it's not even Christmas songs. This guy's singing Kiss songs in my front yard. What the fuck's going on? Jamming out to Carrie, <laughs> Katy Perry. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, man. Fuck, dude. Um, since you've Christmas Carol, do you have a favorite Christmas Carol? No. It's Deck the Halls, bro. No. Is it? It's Deck the Halls. Uh, All day. No. Yeah, man. No. What's the... the? I don't even know. Grandma Silent. got run over by a reindeer. Silent no. Night? No. It's the the one that's like the main Home Alone song. Um, White Christmas? No, I couldn't even tell you the name of the song, even if you named it, because it's going to be like something in D minor and whatever it be. Oh, uh, what the fuck is the name of that song? Dance of the Sugar Plum. No. Yes, yes, Dance of the Sugar Plum. No, Bears. no. Yes, that's what it is, no, bro. No, that's the... Like the Tetris almost one. Uh, sing more. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I know what you're talking that's about. Dance know of the, the Sugar Plum Fairies. Um... Carol the Bells. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Da-da-da-da. I'm not a Christmas person, but give me a minute and I'll come up with it. <laughs> He's yeah. more of a trans Siberian orchestra. You got a person. favorite Christmas Carol, Danny? Is it Deck the Halls? No. No? He's all fucked. Oh, Christmas, no. dude. Um, you know, I'm not totally fuck Christmas, but I am like, the fuck are you doing putting up Christmas decorations before December 1st? <laughs> you know, like. We'll let Josh answer yeah, this, yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll go to there because that's a good. We can we can. Oh, I can. We can roll. We can roll of off of that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. Yeah. For sure. I would go with Grandma got one over by a reindeer. Oh, there you go. That's what's up. Kids Singing that outside. The yeah, kids house. know it too. Yeah. Why not? Singing it in front of only like, old but, people's houses. Bro. Yeah. Like, what if you went to a retirement home? Okay. Daddy, you think, I don't feel you think, bad. You think they're beating cheeks at a retirement home, Danny? Oh, well, yeah, but I think it's the wrong thing. I'm going to say that I think the dudes in retirement homes that still can, they're definitely fucking doing. taking it to town. They're just dude. going, yeah. It's just yeah. fucking It depends on the kind of home, though. I mean, I ain't going to lie. It, it, yeah, well, there's the type of home where it's like nobody's doing it. Leisure nothing. living, like they're where just you're just like, hey, it's just a couple old people. We're just going to keep to ourselves and live here. Yeah, no, I, that's one thing. But if it's like, Hey, here's degenerative care, and like, hey, we're gonna take care of your loved ones while they're dealing with. Yeah, they're not clapping cheeks there. Oh, Maybe, yes, dude, I would. Are. I mean, I would. Yes, they are. I would say if you're like on your yes, deathbed, they are. Hop you, on. Oh, I'm happens. saying there's probably, <laughs> some, there's probably some people who can't physically um, do it. That's all I'm saying. No, yeah, yeah, no, know? but uh, I'm saying the ones that can. Okay, probably I'm gonna definitely. tell you this. Years ago, Uh-oh. my grandma was in a home. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. whoa. There you clap your cheeks in the cheeks? No, home? no, no. But uh, it was a home for people with Alzheimer's. Okay. So a lot of people just forgot a lot of stuff, like clothes. And so they just wander out in the hall and, hey, and you're like, uh, does it, is it supposed to hang like that? No, 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 no. Okay. And so you're just like, uh, I didn't know parts were supposed to dribble that low. Did you think about it? it I was in my teens. 
and you were just like, would I? And you're like, no, no, this woman's got like 60 on me, no. Just slide the pins over, bro, go to town. No, bro, it's a lot worse than that. <laughs> it's a lot worse than that. Danny, how do you feel about Christmas decorations? <laughs> Let's please get off. I'm sorry, I brought the topic up. I want to get off the topic now. <laughs> Oh, oh now you want to get over it? No. Let's, fucking, let's, let's, say like let's this. marinate in this for I, a minute. Worked, what would you do? I worked for a company for a while that Christmas started somewhere back in August and it ends no. somewhere in March. What? You sound yeah. like you work for the company that we work for. No, yeah, no, this is... Yeah, it's a different kind of hell. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, Christmas, you start hearing mentions of things showing up for christmas and it's august and you're going like what the fuck are we doing guys yeah. yeah and then and then christmas starts tearing down and it's kind of all packed up and done around march so then you get these like few months where you're like hey and then you kind of fucking christmas again already can we do it? so can if we you do- work there for years you just kind of like your life cycle goes like christmas is either coming it's here it's going and then there's the time where it's not, and there's other shit going on, and then it's fucking back to Christmas. Oh. Can we do a quick hot take? Do it. Old we, ladies, go. Okay, hot take. When your friends are those friends who like to prepare in advance and buy your Christmas gifts, like, hey, I'm doing Christmas shopping, like you said. Like, oh, it's fucking July. What are you doing right now? Well, I got the money. I'm going to buy the Christmas gifts now. You're like, fuck, you got money? Cool. <laughs> What is this money you speak of? <laughs> Here's my Christmas gift. Let's go out drinking tonight. Yeah. Uh, no, just. But I feel like when those friends or relatives or whoever it is is asking for whatever you want months in advance, at that point, you really haven't thought about what you really want or need at that point. So I feel like those gifts are kind of eh, gifts. If if someone's already planned out and it's just like, hey, I got you a little something for Christmas, and it's like, well, it's fucking August. It's weird. But I'm sure it's spot on. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to give it to you. And you're just like, cool. Bro, I'm the type of person I will buy you a gift for Christmas. The day after? And then it's like, oh, you want to open it now? <laughs> you know, like, oh. like, it's like, legit, dude. Okay, so today... <laughs> Well, not today, but okay. So when I went when I went Christmas shopping for my wife, I bought her this thing. She she she'd been asking for this fucking what's it called? To mixer. Please don't put your what's hands called? that far, huh? KitchenAid mixer. KitchenAid mixer thing. Oh, one of those. It's yes. fucking okay, ridiculously like, priced. Be, yeah, she's wanted it for years, and it's always one of those things where it's like she's like, oh, I don't want to spend the money on that. Well, this year I worked a fucking ton of overtime, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fucking buy it for her. I just left it on the kitchen counter like the same day. She, I was just like, hey, I got you a Christmas gift. I'm not going to wrap it. There you go. Merry Christmas. You know, <laughs> like she fucking loved it. So she, she was like, oh shit. Should have hit me up, man. I got one I'm not using. You could rent. Oh, now you like, make me some cookies on Christmas. Give me some cookies. You know what I'm saying? What'd you get? The five gallon? The the fucking, the big ass one. Uh, uh, I don't, it was the fucking, it's like, it was like 450. It was yeah. Like ridiculous. Yeah. Glass <sighs> bowl or metal bowl? Uh, the metal bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like a teal color. Oh, did you okay. get the ice cream maker with it? I don't know you what know came with it, to be honest. But you, you can get a the bowl for her. She doesn't smoke? No, no. No. We're talking about a mixer, sir. Oh. <laughs> the bowl on the mixer, bro. What? You can pack the bowl of ice you, cream, you know? Yeah, you yeah. can put stuff in it for her to yeah. already. Yeah. She's just, she loves to like bake and cook and stuff yeah. like that. I so. like to bake. And it's the first year where I was like, I'm going to get her a dope ass gift because she never tells me what she wants. And I always end up getting her some fucking books or something, you know, and it's just like, so you, you never tell it. me. So I was just like, you got there the it is. There you go. You See, got the you mixer. said you'd like to get her a dope ass gift. And then you started talking about size. And I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> I was like, where is this going? It's got a tattoo. Kitchen mixer. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, the current time? Yes, we, sir. We already went through yes, a half sir. Yeah. Well, yeah. Holy we shit. A... We got a couple of minutes. Is there anything else you want you guys want to wrap up Christmas-wise before we get this episode done? Uh, oh. Christmas stays in December. Thank you. Yes. When when do you take down your Christmas decorations? Day after uh, New Year's. That's it. 
It's a rule. Yeah, usually day I after would, New Year's. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's day after don't New Year's. Don't even bear, don't bend from it. That's right. Or we're coming for you. Uh, my dad's birthday, uh, unfortunately, was January sixth. But that was typically the day, like, you try to have it packed up by then or that day, and was like you that day we capital, pack dude. it up, and then we go to dinner for. Yeah, well, <laughs> gotta be all packed up before you start storming that capital, bro. Well, I mean, that happened years after he passed. <laughs> so you know. And with that, and with that. This has been the last days of Warcast. You guys, please check out all the links in our bio. Everything you guys do for us helps. Leave a like, leave a comment, fucking rate this shit on Spotify. Thank you so much. We're out.